Hey everyone, Tina of the Noah Barfield here, and welcome to the holiday special. Well, it's that time of year again. No matter what you're celebrating, whether it's Kwanzaa, Christmas, Hanukkah, or the festival of Zargath the Destroyer, it's the time of giving. And so I want to give you some very special holiday-themed writer's corner tips. So today it's going to be all about how you can use the holiday season in your writing, and also how you can make those characters that just warm and melt your heart. And I promise that this holiday special is going to be a lot better than the Star Wars one. So first off, we'll be talking about all those fuzzy, adorable characters that just make your heart melt. But no, why do we even need these characters? Why can't everyone just be intense like Batman and punch people? Well, you can, but then you have a movie like Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, which received mixed reviews. Positive reviews, you need some positive characters, and there are a couple ways to do that. So whenever you're making these adorable, heartwarming characters, one of the first things you want to do is give them a soft spot. If your character is normally cold or distant, but the person thinks, oh, cuddling a stick would be fun, you need to give that stick a gooey center. Maybe they really like puppies. Maybe they have an endearing trait where they end up slurping their soup and it just sounds adorable. Maybe they kind of resemble a pug. I don't know, something that's a soft spot for them that endears them to other people, perhaps despite their best attempts not to. The second thing you want to do is a little more cruel. You're going to want to have this character bravely go through some pain. And I'm not just talking about like making them suffer and then they just deal with it. No, like they go through it with a smile on their face. They don't tell anyone about it. Maybe they had a family member come down with a sickness or a disease. Maybe one of their friends has cancer, but they just don't say anything. They go into work every day with a brave face. They keep adventuring, keep doing what they do to help other people. Make sure that they go through some sort of pain or trauma. It doesn't have to be major, but it has to exist. And they have to go through it bravely, maybe with a smile on their face, because that sort of just selflessness and self-sacrifice really endears us to these characters and just makes us want to cuddle them. And the final thing you want to do with these characters is you want to have them express that kind of pain really only once. Maybe they don't talk about it all of the time, but then one time your main character just comes in and they're crying and they try and clear it up, but there's this emotional conversation that ensues. Maybe that leads to something more, I don't know but they need to be able to express that at least once. They need to have some sort of catharsis or relief from that. So you can't just have one of the characters who use this completely dismiss them. That's not how it works. You need to have it to where they accept them for this. This is more of a feel-good character in a feel-good moment. Yes, it can be sad, but it also needs to be happy, just like in Inside Out. Now we move on from the adorable characters and onward onto holiday writing. So one of the first things you want to do whenever you, you're using the holiday season in your writing is use a holiday setting, but with a twist that's unique to you. Perhaps you're having a single father going out with their daughter grocery shopping for Christmas dinner, but what? They're shopping for humans because they're aliens on another planet. Whoa! Maybe you have a couple who's going out Christmas shopping for their nieces and nephews, and on their way home they'll be set by a werewolf. Ah! I don't know. That's up to you. So the next thing you want to do is you want to explore the themes of the season. Whether you want to explore the themes of selflessness and giving, or you want to explore the themes of suicide and depression, or burning Yule trees, or whatever they did in days of yore, make sure that you explore the themes of the season. And if you're taking any really unique twist, like on another planet or in an alternate dimension where they have winter festivals, maybe they have different traditions, but they have similar themes. If you're having a holiday-themed serial killer, Maybe you want to explore the mortality of it all and how we want to use our time on this world to do the best that we can even given our horrible circumstances, kind of like in Scrooge and a Christmas Carol, but with serial killers and knives. Ultimately, exploring these themes and using the holiday setting in your own unique way is going to be up to you. But one of the real big ways that you can help draw out all of these unique factors is to contrast the themes that you're exploring or introducing. For instance, if you're using the theme of giving and selflessness, perhaps your main villain is someone who is so selfish that they're going to sacrifice toddlers underneath a burning evergreen tree to steal their life force and live forever. Maybe the theme is about the loneliness and suicidal depression that is common around the holiday season, and so the actual antagonist is an ever cheery, ever happy person that tries to cheer up your main character and maybe that's a love story that you want to go with. So that's basically it for creating adorable characters and using the holiday season to your advantage in your writing. I want to know, what characters are you thinking of? How are you using this in your writing? Are you using it at all? What seasons are the best things for you to put in your writing and what seasons do you get most inspired by? 
How do these affect your writing? I want to know. Tell me. There's a lot of different ways to, and I'll get to that in just a moment. So here's the part where I would calmly be bragging about my novel, Leisure Man. But don't worry, that comes later. But I want to let you know first about what me and my company are doing this holiday season in the spirit of giving. So first off, on Facebook, we're running a contest. If you share this picture that we have, your name gets entered to win a free ebook of Legendland. It's, it's completely free. Just completely. And the second thing we're doing in the spirit of giving is on Arkstorm, we have a running special where if you use the coupon code that we have on the front of the website, whenever you order a physical copy of Legendland, it's not only going to be signed, but we're also going to throw in a free ebook copy of Legendland for you to use at your leisure. So make sure to check out both those things. I'll put the links for them below. Legendland makes a great holiday gift. I've already had a few people order it for the Christmas season, which has been great. But enough about the specials. Let me talk to you about the actual book. This fantastic piece of literature right here, Legendland, my novel, is available on a plethora of places. You can get it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, iTunes, Smashwords, my publisher's website, or my website, www.art-storm.com. And if you order it off of there, you're going to get the free ebook, like I said before, and I'll still personally sign it for you. Keep up to date with me and all my social media stuff because, hey, I give things away for free now. So you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Goodreads, Wattpad, a whole host of places, really, and I have all the links for that below. Or just leave a comment and subscribe because that makes me really happy and I'm close to 100 subscribers, so that's gonna be awesome. So thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season, that these tips were helpful, and that you continue to enjoy.